So I wanted to show you how to replace the batteries on uh, a Badlands Wint remote. Um, this is from a 2500, but different models use this along with other ones, but you'll find that the replacement process is probably similar. So um, <clears throat> when you get one of these, the batteries aren't very good. I don't want to pick on Harbor Freight because for me, this has been a really good winch. I have it on my trailer and it really does kick asphalt. So um, <clears throat> this one of the things is to verify that you have the same model. Now, I've had comments about this uh, where it's behaving differently and it's the same model. Um, let me zoom in there. Oop, not too much. And you can see the model number is right there. Uh, the first step is to remove the screws and you need a fine point uh, Phillips. I think this is like a number three or a number two. Actually, let me check that. It's actually a number one, it appears. VPH1. Not sure if that's the number or the model. <clears throat> anyway, it's sharp. So you start by taking the screws out. And I have this on the lowest torque setting. That's why it went like that. Just loosen it a little bit and then hit the button. Now, you want to get the screws out right away because if you don't, it gives you a little bit of a problem getting the, the card out. So I'll just use a magnet. So then you want to take the cover off and you'll see you let the card fall out it just comes right out um, but what I want to show you is <clears throat> you want to leave that setting in here when you do this because that way the recesses here including the one for the light won't damage these buttons they'll be sitting in the recess, rec uh, recesses where they'll be safe so the next thing of course is to take the batteries out so I start with this one because then it gets it out of the way of this one and you can just take your fingernail if you can get that out great but um, I'll use a little screwdriver and try and push that out <laughs> that's that one and this one likes to bump into the one in the front so I want to come out on a little bit of an angle like that. <laughs> there we go. Now I already replaced these batteries and I'll tell you more about <coughs> that at the end here. Um, replacing the batteries does fix a lot of problems. Um, so if you can see that. Whoop. <laughs> Those are energizers, They're getting a lot of reflection, but my point is put a good battery in it because then you won't have to be worrying about it down the road as much. Um, <clears throat> so these are CR2032s, and it's yeah. just reassembling it. Um, again, I'll put this one in first just because it has a tendency to get in the way of the other battery does. You'll see when I put this one in. It would bump right here, but, and then put the screws back in. Oh, another tip is I took the ring off of it just because it gets to be a little pain in the butt. Um, you don't want this hanging off. You just want to be able to get it apart. <coughs> so. And this is where, I, again, I had that torque setting real low because you don't need much 
these screws just strip out just strip out the plastic. So the next step of course is to reprogram it and I made another video earlier about doing the reprogramming. Um, <clears throat> I'll put a link in the description of this one how to get there and I'll put a link <clears throat> up on the screen somewhere here somewhere there um, to so that you can get to that video from here okay so <clears throat> I wanted to mention a few questions that people had on that um, previous video that I made and that has to one of the uh, comments that pretty much everybody's made is that when they do the reprogramming, instead of flashing once per second, it's flashing rapidly. Um, I have a feeling, but it, nobody's confirmed this for me, so maybe somebody can, that that actually is the low battery indicator. Then, <clears throat> if, if you do that, if you re replace the batteries and it's still doing the same thing, if you recently bought it from Harbor Freight, Go back to the store and see if they'll replace it for you right there and then. Uh, otherwise, <clears throat> you can go to uh, harborfreight.com slash parts, and they have the instructions there for ordering new ones. So I'll put a link up here somewhere to that site so that you know what to do. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.